Hi friends, so I designed this circuit, which is an Arduino-based pure sine wave inverter using an H-bridge topology. It converts high voltage DC into a high frequency AC signal, which is further processed to generate a pure sine wave output. The design utilizes two IR2110 MOSFET gate drivers to control an H-bridge of MOSFETs, with an Arduino generating the necessary SPWM sinusoidal pulse width modulation signals. Let's understand the working of the various stages used in the design. The Arduino Uno generates SPWM signals that simulate a sine wave. These PWM signals are fed into two half-bridge IR2110 gate driver ICs, which then control the H-bridge MOSFETs. The IR2110 is a high-voltage, high-speed half-bridge MOSFET driver capable of controlling both high-side and low-side MOSFETs. Each IR2110 is responsible for one half of the H-bridge. IC1 drives MOSFETs Q1 and Q2. IC2 drives MOSFETs Q3 and Q4. Bootstrap capacitors, 22 microfarads C2 and C5, are used for high-side MOSFET switching. The H-bridge consists of four MOSFETs, Q1, Q4, switching the high-voltage DC, e.g. 160 volts or 310 volts, to produce an AC output. When Q1 and Q4 turn on, current flows in one direction through the load. When Q2 and Q3 turn on, current flows in the opposite direction. This alternation produces an AC waveform across the load. Gate resistors 150 ohms, R1, R6, control MOSFET switching speed. Plus 12 volts powers the I, R2110 gate driver circuits and the Arduino board. Plus 5V powers the IR2110 logic circuits. High voltage DC, also called the DC bus 160 volts or 310 volts, is applied to the H-bridge drain terminals. The load AC device is connected across the H-bridge output. The SBWM control ensures a modified sine wave that can be filtered to a pure sine wave. D1 through D6, 1 in 4007 are placed in parallel with the gate resistors, R1 or 6. These diodes provide a fast discharge path for the MOSFET gates when switching off. Without these diodes, gate capacitance could cause slow turn-off, leading to shoot-through current. D4 and D5 charge the bootstrap capacitors, C2 and C5. The bootstrap system provides a higher voltage, VB, needed to fully turn on the high-side MOSFETs. These diodes ensure that the bootstrap capacitors charge quickly during the MOSFET switching cycle. Now, how the inverter generates a sine wave output. Arduino generates SBWM signals with varying duty cycles to mimic a sine wave. IR2110 driver ICs receive these SBWM signals and drive the H-bridge MOSFETs accordingly. H-bridge MOSFETs switch at high frequency, creating a modulated AC output. The output can be filtered to produce a smooth sine wave AC signal. So that's it, friends. This concludes the working explanation of this easy H-bridge sine wave inverter circuit using Arduino, designed by me. If you have any related questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon next time.